If the panel identifies any concerns during the review, you'll receive a procedural fairness letter. Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Dr. Annie Chavla, the managing partner at Immigrate.ai. If you're an entrepreneur dreaming of making it big in Canada with the Startup Visa program, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving deep into the intricacies of the peer review process, a crucial element of your application. With the recent pause on new peer review as of August 1, 2024, understanding this process has never been more important. Let's break it all down in detail. All right, let's get into the details of it. The peer review process is a thorough evaluation designed to ensure that both the designated organizations and the businesses they support meet high industry standards. This process is just not a formality, it's a critical checkpoint to maintain the integrity of the startup visa program and safeguard against any potential fraud. When you submit your application, the first step is a meticulous review to confirm that all required forms are correctly filled out. Fees are accurately paid and all necessary documents are included. This initial step is crucial because it sets the stage for everything that follows. Once your application has passed this initial scrutiny, you'll be officially notified that it's moving into the peer review stage. This notification is more than just a formality. It marks the beginning of a rigorous evaluation process. Here's where it gets interesting. Your application will be reviewed by a panel of experts. These aren't just any experts. They're carefully selected professionals with extensive knowledge of experience in your field. They are chosen by the designated industry association specifically for their deep understanding and expertise. One important point to note is the confidentiality of the panelists. Their identities are kept secret to ensure that their assessments are completely unbiased. This means that their evaluations are based solely on the merit of your application and not influenced by personal connections or opinions. Now let's dive into what the panel actually examines. They start by evaluating the due diligence performed by the designated entity. This involves a thorough examination of how well the organization has vetted your business. They're looking at whether the organization's due diligence aligns with the industry standards and whether it has been carried out comprehensively. The panel will also scrutinize the terms of the commitment. This includes a detailed review of the investment made by the designated organization, the specific services performed and any fees that may be charged. They will ensure that these terms are not only fair but also consistent with what is standard in the industry. This means they're checking if the commitment is reasonable and if it provides genuine support to your business. Next up, the panel will verify the incorporation status of your business in Canada. They need to confirm that your business is either incorporated or will be incorporated in Canada. This step is critical because it ensures that your business is legally recognized and compliant with Canadian regulations. They will also check the ownership structure of your business. This includes verifying that the ownership meets the startup visa requirements. The panel will look at the details to ensure that the ownership is accurately documented and aligns with the program criteria. Another crucial aspect is the evaluation of your business model. The panel will assess whether your business has the potential for significant growth. They'll examine the viability of your business model and ensure it's designed for high growth. This involves a detailed look at your business plan, market research and potential for scalability. They'll also review the management team behind your business. The panel needs to ensure that your team has the experience and skills necessary to drive the business forward. This means evaluating the team's background, expertise, and ability to execute the business plan successfully. Intellectual property is another key area of focus. The panel will verify that all intellectual property related to your business is properly owned and protected. This includes checking patents, trademarks, and copyrights to ensure that your innovations are legally safeguarded. 
If your commitment came from a business incubator, the panel will also validate whether your business was accepted into the incubator program. This step is crucial for confirming that you've received credible support and resources designed to help your business succeed. If the panel identifies any concerns during the review, you'll receive a procedural fairness letter. This letter is a formal notification outlining the specific issues the panel has found. It will request additional documentation or clarification to address these concerns. This is your chance to provide further evidence or explanations to resolve any issues before a final decision is made. Once all the additional information is reviewed and considered, the panel's findings are combined with the rest of your application to make a final decision. This means that the peer review findings play a crucial role in determining whether your application is approved or refused. So, to sum up, the peer review process is detailed and critical part of the Startup Visa program. It ensures that both the designated organizations and your business meet high standards. From evaluating due diligence and commitment terms to verifying business and corporation and intellectual property, the process is thorough and designed to protect the integrity of the program. If you have any questions about the peer review process or need more details about the Startup Visa program, leave a comment below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your network and make sure to subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.